Okay, so now we have signed in to Seesaw. So how does it work? A um, few things that you are gonna wanna know is that this right here is period D and yours should say period G on it, okay? Um, what I see on mine, and you will ultimately, is that there's something called a class feed. So you'll get to see what everybody posts, okay, as they post them. Now we do wanna make sure, just to tell you, um, that there is, uh, you know, a little bit of something with this when it comes to if you hit like or if you hit comment, I'm going to leave those open right now, but let's make sure that we are very kind and we use really good responsibility and we don't over comment on everybody's um, pictures, okay? Um, and mostly they're going to be for school-related items. So you can see how somebody can take an item and upload it, take a picture of it, and not only that, but also add some audio to it. So let's see how that works. All right, so in a few moments, you're gonna do this. I'm gonna have you go up to the top, and there's a little um, cross with a red circle. I mean, a green circle, excuse me. And what I would like you to do is take where it says here, photo, and click on that. Now it might ask you, is it okay for your computer to be allowed to take the photo again? If it does, just say okay. Oh, there I am again. Hello. So what I would like you to do is take your pipe cleaner challenge. And just one person per group, one person per group, is going to take the pipe cleaner challenge and I want you to display it for us, okay? So, for example, let me go grab one real quick. Okay, so I'm back. So if this is your pipe cleaner challenge and um, you want to show us how you want it to stand, I want you to literally stand it up for us. Now, remember, it has to stand on its own. Okay, this one's not, so maybe I have to put it down here. So maybe I need to adjust the hood of my computer so that we can get the whole picture. And now I'm just pulling my computer back. Okay, so I can get everything involved. And all I need is just the structure that I ended with so that I can see it all in the picture, just like that. Okay. Again, I only need one per team. And then it says here, place the sp space bar to take a photo. So perhaps someone needs to stand behind and hit the space bar so that nobody's um, like hand is in the middle of it, okay? And then take a picture of it. Pretty easy, right? Okay. If you have to retake it, it does allow you to retake it right here. Okay. So what I would like you to do is pause the video right now and go uh, take the picture of the object. If you have to move around the library, you can stay kind of in the section that we are in. Um, but you're more than welcome to go put it up on a display case um, or anything else so that you can get a good picture of your actual object if it's supposed to stand up stand it on up and then please come back and return to the video welcome back did you take your picture hopefully your your pipe cleaner challenge it did stand up didn't it all right so what we're going to do next is we're going to hit the little green um circle with a check in it and when we've done that now something's coming up oh my goodness so it's going to give me an options, a few different ones. One is going to be rotate, okay? So if I need to, I can rotate it. I don't really think you're going to need to in this case, but um, rotating is available. Not only that, it allows me to add a caption. I'm not going to... Actually, you know what? I like this. So let's, let's put here um, the caption. And if you could type uh, the one person, um, one person in your table, maybe one person who didn't take the picture and you want them to now uh, add the caption, that would be fantastic. So let's write pipe cleaner challenge and let's write the names. Okay, so we wanna put the first and 
last name of each person in your group who completed the Piper Printer Challenge. So let's pause the video right here. Let's go have one of the people in your table complete that. Hit the um, little check when you're done, and then we'll move on to the next part. Go ahead. All right, so you're back. Do you see the caption? You should see it right underneath. Awesome. Okay, so there's some other items on here. Let's go to label real fast. Let's see what that does. Okay, so a label is just that. Okay, I can move this white object. I should be able to uh, move it around here. And I can bring it to the front. Okay, we'll bring it to the back. And um, whoops, there it is. And I can label um, something if I wanted to, you know, uh, on my particular project. Now, the nice part is you have to click where you want to have the label, okay? We're not going to really need to do this right now, but I wanted to just show you that it is, is available, okay? I'm going to click on this one and delete it. And obviously, you can change the style, so on and so forth. Okay, let's just delete that real fast. So I'm going to just hit the little um, circle, and it's going to take me back to this menu. Next is drawing. So if you're asked to perhaps provide a drawing of some sort, you certainly can, okay? And you can draw, all right? That is also available, but we don't really need that. So let's just hit erase all, hit erase all drawing. Hit the little check, and let's go back. All right, so the one that we are going to do, is we're going to hit audio, okay? So don't do that yet, but in just a moment, again, it's going to ask you, do you want it to allow... So you do want to hit allow, okay? So what are you guys going to record? Well, let me tell you. I would like your group as a whole to discuss how you got your pipe cleaner challenge to either stand up or maybe if it didn't stand up, what you would have done differently. If it did stand up, how did you get it to stand up? What did you like use or what kind of shapes did you use or what was your engineering concept? So that's the first question. Again, if it worked, why did it work? If it didn't work, what would you have changed to make it work next time? Number two, which of the challenges was the most difficult? Was it putting your hands behind your back? Or was it the part where you couldn't communicate? So I'd like you to tell me which one of those two were the most difficult. And then I would like a provide a response of why. Now you can elect to have one person at the table um, record this and tell it back to me. Or maybe you want two people. Um, but I would discuss it first and then you can record. So let's pause the video right here. Let's give you a few moments to come up with your answer. And then when you're done, um, again, hit the little check mark and we're almost finished. Go ahead. All right, welcome back. So if I don't like my recording and I wanna redo it, um, maybe you've seen this, but there's a little X here and it does say delete the recording. Okay, I'm gonna delete mine right now. Okay, so we're gonna check this here. And now we're almost done, okay? The only thing left for us to do is just post it. So we're gonna hit the little um, green check and it says here, select students, okay? So for mine, because I'm on my teacher side, um, it's going to say select students. For yours, um, when you do this, I believe it's just going to say on it, um, make sure. It's just going to say item uploaded, and that's what you want, okay? So if you would upload that for me and then check out what other people did, that would be great. And that's the end of this video, okay? So I should be receiving from your team a picture with your pipe cleaner challenge. Either it's standing up or it's not. Everybody's name underneath with the words pipe cleaner challenge and the answers to my questions. Thank you.